Well, we're back for part three of our peel series here. Um, again, I'm Dale Jane with Image Skin Care. And for our first peel, we did a signature lift, which was an enzyme lift. For part two, we did a, a glycolic acid peel, but it was 30% glycolic and 1% retinol. So today we're going to do the next level higher, which is the exact same peel we did last time, but a stronger strength. So the one we're going to do today is called the wrinkle lift. It is 45% glycolic and 1% retinol. So what is this targeting again? Um, fine lines, wrinkles, aging. So while well, she starts, um, the same steps before. So we're here to highlight how simple and easy it is to do a chemical peel and try to alleviate some of the fear and mystery surrounding it. So the first step is always just to cleanse the face. So she's cleansing right now. And last time she did very well. Um, if you've seen the other two parts, um, she had a, the enzyme lift, very hydrating and moisturizing. Um, didn't feel much activity on, on the skin at all. And that's because it's just using fruit enzymes to exfoliate everything off the skin and allow then a more even penetration when we get to some of these stronger peels. And the reason why we're showing these peels in a series is like I highlighted before, you can't go to the gym in one time and get in shape. Same thing with skin, it takes multiple times. You're not gonna come in to the spa one time, get one peel and it's gonna fix all their problems. So that's why the spa is highlighting that when you do peels, you should do them in a series. So in this example that we're using, we're gonna do a four part series. So we've done number one, the enzyme. Number two was the wrinkle lift with a, little, a lower percent of 30% glycolic. Now we're on step three, which is the 45%. So please cleanse the skin, very relaxing, easy to do, nothing to fear. Feel a massage there too. So the next step that we come to is, she's just gonna use like a degreaser to just um, um, remove some of the oils from the skin, allows the, uh, the solution to penetrate more evenly. So last time I was talking about some of some of the effects you may see or feel. And when you do a series of peels, um, it helps pull out some of the irregularities in the skin because it's it's uh, exfoliating a lot. So that last time you noticed some um, maybe some of the, sp the spots on your face a little may have turned darker. Mm -hmm. And then they start to disappear. There you go. So oftentimes, right after a peel, someone will say, oh my gosh, the little brown spots actually got darker. It's oftentimes the case. So what we're doing is we're pulling all that pigmentation out of the skin. And then a week or two after, you're gonna notice that they got darker, but then they completely disappeared out. And particularly if you're coming in for pigmentation, these are the ones that it takes a while. You really have to be patient, but you can accomplish in six weeks doing a series of peels, what would take you six months to do and to, if you're just using, you know, even the best of skin cares. All right, so she's now just use that degreaser. And now the next step is just to apply the, the peel solution on the face. So it comes in nice thick gel, goes on really easy. It's just gonna paint it on. Nice. One thing I love about um, these image peels is because it's in a base of, of um, aloe vera. And so the aloe vera um, keeps it all in place and doesn't allow it to, to run or do anything. So we talked a little bit, um, I asked her if she noticed any difference in the, the spots in her skin. And she said, yes, they, they got a little bit darker and they lightened up. Did you notice anything different else in your skin at all? 
Very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. So I don't know if you could hear. She's saying much smoother too. So through all this, it's really exfoliating the skin, getting rid of pigmentation. And what happens, especially with the wrinkle left, is those fine lines and wrinkles, particularly around the eyes, the crow's feet, the more shallow ones are really going to start to disappear. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. What she's asking her right now is, Doris, do you feel any activity? So the stronger the peel is, the more you may feel activity. So she said, on a scale of one to 10, what kind of activity do you feel now? One. Yeah, like a one. So there you go. So a lot of this mystery of, oh, I'm afraid of a chemical peel. It may hurt or it may sting or my face may peel off. They're really myths. So she's just going to sit there for five minutes with the peel solution on. And in the meantime, Doris is going to sit back and enjoy a nice massage. So this stays on for five minutes. And then the next one we do, which will be our last peel, um, we're going to bump up into what's called a perfection left. And that's a blend of um, lactic, salicylic, and resorcinol. And it's called the perfection lift because it is literally the perfect peel for anything, both acne, um, both hyperpigmentation, all those brown spots we get from the sun here in South Florida, um, as well as uh, anti-aging uh, wrinkles and fine lines. So the first two that we did, did you have any kind of um, flaking or peeling at all to your skin? Not at all. Yep, not at all. So no peeling, no flaking. So we'll see at this one. When you get to this level, um, you probably are not going to have any skin peeling. You might see a little bit of dry flaking. Now, if you get some of the flaking, it's very, very, very important not to take the skin and try to rip it off. You can damage the skin that way. So. Um, if they start to get dry, it's okay to try to flake it off, but never grab a piece of skin and peel and try to peel it. Can you put cream on it or anything? Yes, you can put cream on it. And what we're going to do today, we only do this with the, with a little bit stronger ones, is we have a post-treatment kit. And with it, what this is, is it's just a um, very mild cleanser. It has a... Um, uh, the vital C enzyme um, mass that helps to uh, get rid of any of the excess dead skin, um, some an anti-inflammatory property to it, and just nothing that's going to any kind of put acid in it. So after the peels, you just want to avoid for three or four days anything with retinols or anything with acids and things like that. For the first enzyme peels or the level one peels, probably don't need a post-treatment kit. But starting with this peel, and then the next one, which is the strongest one, um, we'll send her home and Doris will just use this for about three or four days. Okay. And then you can just resume what your normal skincare routine was after that. All right. Uh, we've, we've got about a minute and a half left. I like the image MD products. That's what I, that's my regimen that I use. Excellent. So just talk about the image MD products. So um, image MD takes the best of all of the lines and combines it into one line. Um, works for everyone. So it has all the acids and retinols that the ageless line has. It has all the stem cells that the max line has. It has all the um, brightened botanicals and anti-inflammatory properties that the Iluma line has. Um, so a real nice combination of everything. Good for all skin. We used to only sell it to physicians' offices, but about a year ago, um, and we just made it available to the licensed estheticians and you can have it right there in the spa too. It's the perfect regimen to go on both pre-peel and post-peel to get your skin ready. All right, so now, simple part, just like before, just going to wash the peel solution off.
I'm just curious, did you feel any more activity with this one versus the, the one we did two weeks ago? Yes. What about taking away with that there? Okay. Thank so a little bit more. So it was the same peel, but this was 45% glycolic acid versus the first one that was only 30%. So that's how we slowly ramp up to it. But she's done very, very well. You can see how easy this was. I mean, how long did that take? And we think about the time saved. If you're trying to address some skin conditions, just come in, have had a lovely time, get a little massage, and you can really accomplish in six weeks, which would normally take you six months. So it's a great opportunity to come and book this appeal series here at the spa. So we always ask about if there's any activity left. She only felt it, she said maybe a, a two or three at the most out of, um, out of a range of one out of 10. So very easy to, to tolerate. Any activity, feel any stinging or anything in the activity anywhere else? No, no, no. Right. So then we just end with, um, she'll put a serum on. And then we always leave with a sunscreen, particularly here. Um, you will be more sensitive to the sun. You really need to commit to be extra careful in that week or two after doing the peels. So don't come get a chemical peel series in the middle of it, go on a cruise and lay in the sun all day for a week. <laughs> so it's a commitment both ways, but it's a commitment that it really pays off because these peel series can really, really make major changes to your skin for the better. So let's say I play golf on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I wear a huge hat and I'm good to go. You're good to go with sunscreen. Well, yeah. Yep. Of so that's just it. You just have to be diligent. She, she wants to golf on Saturday. It's fine. Just wear a hat. Make sure you wear sunscreen and bring it with you. One mistake that people make is they'll put some sunscreen on in the morning and then spend seven, eight hours on the golf course outside. You, you can, you'll probably need to reapply every couple hours just to make sure. You would both be able to tell. I mean, if you're out there vis vigorously exercising and you're sweating or you're swimming, you'll need to reapply your sunscreen more often than you were if you're just out shopping. Looks great. Your skin is really looking wonderful. You got a nice glow, it, yeah. really nice glow to it. And especially the, the last two is where you really see the major changes taking place because you've built up the tolerance to use some of the higher percentages of, of the acids. How often do you think we should have a peel? So you should do a peel series and you can do them um, every, you have to wait two weeks in between and that's what we've been doing. The next one, when we bump up to the strong, the strong one, that perfection, you need to wait one month in between. You can continue to do them as, as, if you, you can tolerate that strong when you stay there. You can do them once a month until you reach your skincare goals. So there's nothing to say that you know you can only stop after doing four of them or two of them or whatever it is. You'll continue to do it until you reach your skincare goals. And then you know you can stop, take a break. And whether it's six months later or eight months later or a year later, whenever you feel the need that. You know, we continue to age, we continue to get damage to our skin. Um, you may want to come in for, for another one. So I think that's it. I mean, she did really well, and I can't wait. We'll come back in two more weeks, and we'll do the final one. And that'll be the perfection uh, lift, which that's the big gun that we have. And we can't wait to see the final results after all of them. Thank you again for joining.